See, all you did was you heard the words, you're blowing the sun. You didn't see me on camera, what I said before that. I told him, what are you, nuts? You're fighting the man's fight. You got to move. You got the speed. Uh, pick it up. What are you doing? You're slowing down. Don't want to be slow like this guy. And then when I got out of the ring, the camera happened to hit me. And I said, you're blowing it, son. If you had to train, if you had to fight against Mike Tyson, young prime Ali against Tyson. Oh, please. Tyson would get slapped all over the place. Short guy, straight. My guy would have surrounded him. He would have, you know, would have been, hey, Foreman would have knocked out Tyson. Uh, there's a lot of guys. See, certain people beat certain people. That's boxing. And this is what happens. Uh, we discussed earlier on about that bad fight, Sultan, with uh, the heavyweight champion. These things happen. Styles make fights. And um, I tell you, uh, Tyson, uh, it was to me a unique thing because he was shot early. Heavyweights go for in the later ages, but he would he would he, he everything was empty with Tyson early on You know and he didn't fight a, an ordinary guy and see for he fought Sultan who I know Sultan I trained Sultan uh, He was when I used to be around uh, Fort Lauderdale and Sultan's a heck of a fighter now Maybe the two styles didn't blend. I have no reason to say why the fight was so bad, but it was a bad fight. It was not a fight worthy of a world champion. The fight stunk. It didn't deserve to, to be that kind of fight. He's too good a fighter. So these things happen, but maybe the two styles didn't mix. Who the heck knows? Maybe the guy got off the wrong side of the bed. You know, it's a, you're dealing with human beings. You never know what's happening, so you can't be a critic. But I'm telling you, it was a horrible fight. A great fight, a real ring classic. Watch me, Rocky Marciano, fight a computerized fight with Cassius Clay. Ali is DC Danger, top here against the ropes by Marciano, relentlessly. the computer bout between Ali and Marciano? I remember I got mad at my brother Chris who was the referee. <laughs> like, Marciano got a cut. He, I said, why don't you stop the fight for God's sake? Well, what happened there, we wound up, uh, Marciano won here. And in Europe we won. So we were even. And by the way, Marciano didn't like my guy because he talked. But you know, that, that was something I preempted. I made him talk because he was the first superstar to talk, and the media was very happy to have him talk because they had something to write. Before, when you talk to a fighter, you talk to the father, the cousin, the uncle, the, everybody. You talked when Muhammad talked, you heard him. In fact, I got all the greatest newspaper men in the world one day to go in the room with them. And I said when they came out, do you know this kid? No, they didn't know him. So uh, he was a unique, special human being. There'll never be another Muhammad Ali. Was there any truth to the rumor that, you know, Muhammad just agreed to, you know, it was always a question of who would lose? That's so much baloney. One of the greatest boxing historians in the world, who's dead now, was Hank Kaplan. He got all the figures and all the, the fights and threw it into a computer. What came out of the computer, it came out. Now, and, and the biggest judge of that is Muhammad. He says to err is a machine. <laughs> You know, there are probably still some people who claim that Sonny Liston took a dive in the second fight. I'm just wondering, what do you say to them? I don't say nothing to them. All I know is that Muhammad went out after the first fight. He, what he did, he disrobed poor Sonny Liston. 
Lester was the baddest guy in town, killer, destroyer. Here this little kid bounced around and he beat him, became heavyweight champ of the world through adversity. He went blind in the one round, so I cleaned him up and he went out, ran for half a round and went, wait, the, the rest is history, he became world heavyweight champion. What happened to Liston, he was the baddest guy in the block. And he's the guy that made him look like an ordinary human being. And when they fought the second time, I sent Muhammad out to hit him with a one-two in the very first round, if you look at the tape. And he brought back memories of the shellac and he took the first fight. So I don't think he wanted it anymore. He got knocked out. My guy hit him with a punch he didn't see. He, was, he threw a jab, he was bending down. My guy hit him in a temple and the fight was all over. accused you of loosening the ropes the ropes you know and I wanted to ask why do you think he did that and were the ropes loose in your opinion and why and how did it happen I never loosened the ropes I tightened the ropes I tightened the ropes at four o'clock in the afternoon I sent a ring over there with 24 foot ropes for a 20 foot ring so I went there with Bobby Goodman and he can confirm this he works with Don King now, but he was doing the public relation for the fight for Don King. So I was there living with Bobby, so we went and checked the ring out. Now the ring was crooked, it was on a dirt floor, we had to straighten out the ring, and also the ropes, the ropes were like 24 foot. You know, there wasn't a knife in the crowd, I asked them, give me a knife so I can cut the ropes and tighten them. Uh, Mobutu made sure people didn't have no weapons. So what happened, I got a two-ended razor blade and I cut the ropes, made them 20 feet, and I tightened them. But what I didn't take into consideration, it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We were fighting at 4 o'clock the next morning, and the heat loosened the ropes. You've got to remember that that was a big discussion because the ropes were loose and Muhammad could have fell out of the ring. I didn't want the ropes loose because when he was leaning back, if he'd have fell out of the ring, that ring was like six foot in the air. It was in the middle of a soccer field. If he'd have fell out of the ring, Muhammad would have broke his back. So I, I was worried about him falling through the ropes. In fact, when he was near my corner, I smacked him on the butt to get the heck off the ropes.